Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my favorite cashback site, which is Complete Savings. I'm pretty sure that this cashback site is only available in the UK, but I might be wrong. Uh, but just in case it is, please leave me a like now before you click away. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showing you several things. First one is how much money you could make with Complete Savings. Um, I'm going to be showing you which retailers work with complete savings, so who you can actually make money with. There's lots more than this, by the way. Um, this is just a handful. And I'm also gonna show you what some of the catches are. Um, there's there's one or two drawbacks, but not many, to be honest. So, um, at this point, I have to tell you that I'm not being sponsored by complete savings. I don't have an affiliate link for you, so you've gotta go and Google it for yourself. Um, I'm not getting paid by them at all, except for the money they give me every month, um, and lots of it too. So, um, yeah, now um, I don't think anyone else that I know of, apart from my mum, uses this site, and that's only because I made it go and look it up. Um, so it's not that well known. I'm surprised how few people know about it compared to the other cashback websites. But anyway, on we go. So, first things first, what is Complete Savings? Um, so, Complete Savings, in a nutshell, is a cashback site. Now, before you rage quit off this video, please wait. It'll be worth it, I promise. Complete Savings is a cashback site like no other. And I'm going to explain in detail right now. So, just in case you've never heard of a cashback site before, um, a cashback site is is what it says on the tin. It's a site that gives you money back when you buy things. So, for example, if I click this link here, um, it'll, it, it'll take me to a page and it'll say, right, if you go to Nike now, um, and buy something, I will get 10% of the purchase price back, more or less. There's a couple of tweaks, well, not tweaks, there's a couple of catches, which are detailed down here, but I'll go into those later. They're, they're just terms. Um, and that's in a nutshell, that's all it is. Um, they Essentially, they get paid for referring you, and, you, and they give some of that back to you. Um, the thing that's different about Complete Savings compared to other cashback sites, um, number one is the amount of cashback you get. I mean, this one for eBay is just phenomenal. This 15% is unusual, but 10 is the is the minimum. There's none, there aren't any offers that are less than 10 that I've found. Um, so most of the cashback sites offer between one and 3%. Sometimes it's like half a percent. I think uh, Top Cashback and Quidco were doing like half a percent on eBay compared to 10%, um, it's just not even worth bothering with. Um, th the second great thing about this site is that they pay out all the time. They pay out regularly, like every two weeks you get a payment. Um, I would say the third benefit they have compared to other sites is it's it's actually quite reliable. Um, their, their tracking system is, you know, you, you, if you click on their, on their, their link and you go through to a shop, so if I go to, I'll go back one because I go to eBay all the time. Let's go to, let's go to Argos. So if I click on this link and go to Argos, um, it will track it. It will give me the link as long as I do what it says I, I have to do. So there are certain things, like for instance, you can't buy gift cards and things like that with it, but there aren't that many restrictions restrictions for most sites. So if I go in here and I buy, no one buys a phone from Argos. But if I go and buy this running machine, I ought to buy a running machine. De definitely need to get fitter. Um, okay, if we pick something sensible, if I went, you know, anything I go in here, I will get ten percent back, um, and they will, and it will track. I've not had anything yet that's not tracked. Um, I would say the last great thing, get rid of Argos, um, about complete savings is they only really do cash back and perhaps vouchers. They don't do any of the other stuff. Uh, like kind of oh watch this this video and you'll get a tenth of a penny but you won't or download this app and as long as you get to level 100 inside three days then you'll get a tenth of a penny there's none of that stuff no surveys no apps where they just sell your details to everyone there's none of that it's just plain and simple come and buy some stuff get loads of money back um so, the, I think um, 
the next thing to look at will be how you actually make the money. So I've already gone over getting cash back uh, from buying things. Um, the second one is, I suppose the, the next one to mention is the welcome bonus. So I'm going to go up here into my dashboard so you can see how much money. And that's, that's in two years that I've made that much money, by the way. Um, so when, if I go, where has it gone? Benefit, benefits, there we go, should have gone to that. Okay, so we come here, there's the different ways you can make money. Apart from cash back and buying things you were going to buy anyway. So the first one is the welcome reward. So that's the first thing you get. I think it's that value for everyone. It's always £16 something for your first purchase, pretty much whatever you buy. Um, you can only claim that once. It is what it says on the tin. It's a monthly bonus. Uh, it's, a, it's a welcome reward. The next one is the monthly bonus. This, this is a monthly bonus, but it isn't. And I'll explain more about that later. Um, but essentially, as long as you buy one thing in a month, you can claim £15. So this month I've already bought, I've already made some purchases, so I could go and claim this. So if I bought something on eBay, I would click this, this button and I would go in fill and fill in a form with four little things to say, uh, this is where I bought it, um, this is the date I bought it on, this was the order number, and then I would have to upload the email receipt for it, and that would be it. Um, so it takes about two minutes and I think in the two years that I've been on Complete Savings I've, I've forgotten to do this twice in two years um, so like one month of each year um, so so I've, yeah all right I've missed out on £30 but um, most as long as you're organized basically then you and you buy things online then you'll get this no problem so cash back is the one we've already talked about that's just going and buying things you just have to go to this website first before you buy stuff online and you click in through one of their retailers um, so they're saying okay so I've already made see they've already tracked 34 pounds of, um, of cash back this month so that's pretty good um, the last one which I haven't actually used to be fair although I should use it more often is the gift cards so once a month you can buy uh, a, a discounted gift card. So for instance, we're always going to B&Q, um, the DIY shop and, and buying stuff. Um, but Argos is another one. So I think that the one for all gift card covers, uh, covers a whole slew of like high street shops. There's literally hundreds of shops that accept that. Um, Argos is a good one. Um, if you combine an Argos gift card with the Argos, Argos clearance shop, you can really clean up. Um, there's usually more than this, actually. Is that all there is today? Okay, but I think I think this is the one that works with everywhere. So it looks like there's only four different ones, but actually this one. They used to have Amazon, but they don't have Amazon anymore, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, so essentially you can come in here. I can pick e-gift card. Um, and... Let's say I want a hundred pound gift card, and it's only going to cost me eighty pounds. Um, so that's pretty good if you know you're going to spend, and you can do that every month as well, once per month up to a hundred pounds. So if you know that you're going to spend hundred, you know, hundred quid at a shop, you can come in and buy this for eighty. I think it takes a couple of days for it to come to you. It doesn't necessarily come every day. Uh, as I say, I haven't tried it, but um, yeah, it's a really good deal. Um, okay, so this the next thing to talk about is who you can actually make money with. Um, so I'm going to go through the retailers. I know this is this is something you can't really find out until you've joined. Um, honestly, before, I'm, before I trawl through all of these retailers, um, th it's easier just to say who they don't work with. Honestly, um, the big one being Amazon. So there's no discounts with Amazon, and there aren't many discounts with or that offers with the sort of big um, supermarkets. So if I think Tesco is in here, but they're only that's only a new customer offer. Uh, the vast majority of these aren't new customer offers, which is something that plagues other cashback sites, um, like Quidco and uh, what's the other one? Cash, swag books, whatever it is. Um, most of these, there are one or two. I think some of the holiday ones are 
new customers only, but most of these, the useful ones, things like eBay, Argos, AliExpress, um, they're all kind of just whatever you buy, you get 10% on. So um, so this is just going through the electricals. I would say eBay, I'll just pull out eBay and eBay are huge. Um, Euro car parts, if you're into fixing your cars, Groupon, Fiverr, 30% cashback on Fiverr. That is a good one. Um, Fiverr is a really useful website if you don't know Fiverr. Um, Laptops Direct, they do good deals on, on phones. It's always worth checking them out for new and refurbished phones. Maplin, see, it's not quite up to date because Maplin, I'm pretty sure, have gone bankrupt. So maybe they are still going. I'm not going to click on it, though. Um, Ninja, if you like your kitchen stuff. If you like mixers, blenders. Samsung. Um, i trying to think. Viking are a big stationary thing if you're into buying stationary. The works do cheap books. Um, let's go to fashion because this one's got. So that one had 160 odd. That was electricals, had 160 odd retailers. How many has this one got? This one's got 409 retailers. I think there's over a thousand in all. I think there's something like 1200. Um, so straight away they got Adidas, uh, Animal, and Summers, uh, ASOS. Um, even George Bench. There's, there's, you know, you can just see. I'll just scroll through these. Um, Clark's. If you got, you need to buy kids' shoes. Doc Martins. I'm not really a fashion person, which might become evident as I scroll through here and miss some of the really good ones. But um, as you can see, there's, 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 there's a couple of jewelry shops in here as well. Um, so. Scroll through these so you can get an idea of Levi's. If you want to f speed this up a bit, I know because some people really want to know what's in here, and nobody, nobody else tells you. There's nowhere else you can actually find out. Um, go on, we'll just scroll to the end because I've been through it all. Um, I'm, yeah, Nike's in here because we clicked on them earlier. So Nike, Adidas, Le uh, Adidas, Levi's, all them. So travel. There's some holiday stuff as well. What I will say about the holidays is I've not tried holiday stuff here, mainly because I joined in the middle of COVID. Um, but some of the, on other cashback sites, what I've seen is the holiday stuff doesn't tend to be a great deal. You get 10% off, but actually it's, you know, you, you might have saved 30% going somewhere else. So do be careful about those. Um, but certainly the other, the other like the, the sort of general high street stuff um, is pretty good. Okay, so just under 200 beauty and makeup type places. Um, I know we use Holland and Barrett, who are in here. They, they're really good. Um, we get supplements and stuff. Home Garden covers a wide variety of stuff. We um, we used to get Just Eat take If we order takeaway, we used to get Just from here. I think they do Deliveroo now. I don't do Just Eat anymore. Um, you can buy beer. You can buy anything. Um, again, loads and loads and loads of retailers. Some of them, you know, you genuinely never heard of, but some of them are really, really good. Uh, there's some furniture, wallpaper. All right, what else have we got? Home garden, leisure. Okay, another 225. Let's have a look. American Golf. So again, lots and lots of options. There's, there's just something for everyone, really. The entertainer. There's uh, yeah, there's all sorts. My my personal favourite. I'll go. I'll just scroll through these and then I'll show you some of my the ones where. Not only is it cheap for getting stuff, but you can actually make money on it. The Royal Mint, you can buy gold and silver coins at a discount. I used to collect coins, so that's quite a big one. But being able to buy gold, I think gold and phones on eBay, you can make money. I mean, especially if you're getting if you're getting your stuff ten percent cheaper. That's if you've got a business, that's a big deal. Um, okay, the next thing to talk about really, I think, should be the. What's the catch? It sounds too good to be true. So there must be, um, what are the drawbacks? 
So there are three, I would say there are three catches that we need to talk about. The biggest one is the monthly fee. So there is a monthly fee, but there isn't. And I'll explain that now. Earlier, we spoke about the monthly bonus. So every month, as long as you buy one thing, you can come and claim this monthly bonus. Um, but every month, they will take, Complete Savings will take £15 out of your account. Um, so essentially, it's free as long as you use it. And that's, I've been using it very efficiently, I would say, apart from the two months. Um, but that is the biggest drawback. If you don't shop online very often, or you're not very organised, or you, um, you, you click on it after you bought something off Argos or whatever, and then you don't click on it again, you know, you, don't, you forget all about it, then you will start seeing £15 charges on your account every month and not make the benefit from it. So, um, provided you're organised and provided you use you buy things online regularly, then this isn't an issue. Um, but it is worth noting, because I think some people, you can see from Google that some people think it's a scam because they sign up for it without really taking it that seriously and then forget all about it and then realise they've lost 15, maybe 30, maybe £45 from their account over time and uh, you know, and they've not had the benefits. So um, that is something to be aware of. You come into it knowing that it is free as long as you use it. If you don't use it, it costs you money. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing to mention is the cap. So the cash, the cashback is capped at two hundred and fifty pounds a month. So in theory, if you if you buy stuff from, uh, if you buy things that are from retailers at a ten percent discount or a 10% cashback rate, then in theory you'd have to spend £2,500 every month before you hit your cap. In reality that figure is actually much higher, it's probably over 3000 and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but it's just something to mention because I think last month um, I did nearly hit my limit just because I made some big purchases. Um, so yeah, it's worth it's worth noting that you, you can't just think, oh, I've got a business and I buy you know, 20 grand's worth of stuff off eBay every month and resell it. Uh, so I'm going to clean up because you, you won't. Uh, they'll, they'll You get capped at £250. So um, so yeah, the next the next thing to mention is what I just touched on was the, the fact that you wouldn't get 10% back. Uh, even though it says 10%, if we just go and click on one here, so we'll click on Acer. I think sell laptops. Um, so this is the other catch. All cashback payments will exclude taxes, delivery, credit card fees, um, gift cards, returns exchanges and gift wrapping. So um, taxes includes VAT. So if you buy from pretty much everyone on here with I would say the exception of eBay, then um, you will es essentially lose 20% of the cash back you would have had. So if you bought something for £100, you probably only get 8% cash back on it rather than 10 because £20, you, as far as they're concerned, if you bought something for £100 and it had free delivery, then you'd probably only get £80 worth considered for cash back. So you'd get £8 instead of 10 If there was £5 delivery on it, then all of a sudden it's they're only going to consider £75 of it. Um, so, and then if you had something gift wrapped, um, if you buy something, the other thing is the gift cards. They don't, they don't, they're not, in, they won't give you cash back if you buy something with a gift card, which kind of makes sense really, because then you could go, you could go to vouchers, buy yourself an Argus voucher, buy a hundred pounds voucher for 80 pounds, go and spend a hundred pounds and get another 10% off or, you know, another 8%. Um, so you'd be getting a 28% discount effectively. So um, yeah, they don't let you do that, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, and yeah, the last the last thing I suppose is the other restrictions. So this one doesn't have any special restrictions. These are all pretty standard. So uh, taxes and deliveries is a standard term. Um, travel reservations, basically these are all standard. So you can't, if you, essentially if you click 
on uh, let's say if we, go, if we go to eBay and buy something and then uh, honey if you have honey or some other cashback or some other voucher code and you use another voucher code then chances are that <clears throat> excuse me that that voucher code will stop complete savings from getting their share of your your fee so they won't give you any money um, oh if you click on the honey thing honey will put a voucher code in even if they even if they don't get you any money off they'll still put their voucher code in so um, it's definitely I hardly ever use honey anymore now um, or even any of the, the other cashback sites but honey is the one that pops up all the time and lets you know about stuff so uh, trying to think what else is there to talk about um, I suppose the last thing to talk about is my experience with Complete Savings. Um, so I've been with Com Complete Savings for two years, almost to the day. Um, so I started, I joined up, yeah, around two years, uh, yeah, two years ago. I think in the first month, the first year, I made eight hundred pounds, and this this year, I must have made almost the same amount. Um, like I said, I've only ever forgotten to get the monthly bonus once, uh, twice, sorry. So I've lost thirty pounds, but I've gained. You know, I've done pretty well um, out of that. So, in that time, we have made a couple of big purchases. We bought because uh, we moved house, so we bought, I think, fridge. Yeah, a fridge, a tumble dryer, and possibly a sofa in there. Um, but the rest of that is just stuff. Uh, to be fair, I do buy and sell things on eBay quite a bit, and I go through not all the time. So in a lot of that time, I haven't. There's probably a year where I wasn't buying and selling much on eBay, but within that, there yeah, there there is. There's definitely a bit of me buying things on eBay to resell. Um, but in general, it's stuff like I would have bought those things anyway. I didn't buy them to get the cash back. So you can you know you you can. This has been a game changer for me. I always literally if I'm going to buy something. I always come here, um, even you know. And if they're not, if the retailer I want isn't listed here, I sometimes look. You know, I'll actually shop somewhere that that, that is here, and I'll compare the price. Um, I get paid. You get paid at least once a month, usually twice a month. Um, I've just I've never had a problem with it. I think there was once. The only time I didn't get, I think it was with some furniture, and I was I was gutted because I missed out on sixty or seventy pounds worth of cash back. Um, but it was because I didn't I didn't check the terms and on the furniture I think it was for Wayfair actually. I'm gonna click on where's Wayfair. Um, that's the other thing with some of the terms you've got to check the terms because I think what it said was um, you weren't yeah your Wayfair basket must be empty before clicking through and we'd already saved a sofa or some other piece of furniture I think, I think we got it on the sofa but we didn't get it on something else because we it was already in the basket and I just clicked on here and then paid for it so they credited the cash back but then they didn't pay out it took it off again before the before the payment date um, so yeah that's just one or two retailers will have that eBay doesn't care at all I think as long as you click um, either buy it now or if you bid after clicking this link then they don't care as long as like you could pay for it a week later when the auction ends as long as you clicked it at the time you see here quidco quidco is trying to steal two and a half percent or 2.25 percent no quidco no so so there you, ha there you have it um that's my my review um if you came here because you were wondering if it was a scam or not it's definitely not a scam uh, like i said i've made I've made all this money, and I'm not, I'm not getting paid by them. Um, they're not, you know, I'm not getting any, other than the fifth, you know, eight hundred quid a year. Um, but like I said, that's the things I was going to buy anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like and consider subscribing. I'm going to be making more videos like this. Um, I just generally try and make helpful videos. Um, so yeah, have a look at uh, the other videos on my channel. This is actually my first one, so I don't know what the other ones are going to be about yet got an idea though and they're generally going to be just useful stuff on the internet so that's it that's complete saving so yeah look them up um and uh, give it a go
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.